this video, we'll be looking at a particular example of coordinated response, which is the fight or flight response. So a coordinated response is a body-wide response that is controlled by both the nervous and the endocrine system. They both work together to coordinate different actions that your body will do. So a fight or flight response will uh, be induced if the body detects a threatening stimuli. Either it's a collection of different things, so for example, you saw a bear, right, when you're out for a walk. So your eyes will be able to see the light or detect the light that is reflected off the bear, or you can hear that it's growling or, or whatever it might be, that though all of those similar, all of those stimuli are detected by your nervous system. So I'm going to use red to signify that these are things that are done by the nervous system. Now, once you detect the threatening stimuli, that would activate or stimulate the autonomic nervous system, which is the nervous system that is able to coordinate all the, uh, all the automatic or subconscious actions. So in this case, it would trigger or signal the hypothalamus to do different things. So this is where we can split up into different parts because the hypothalamus uh, is able to link to the pituitary gland to coordinate a hormonal response, but then it's also able to coordinate a nervous response. So first thing is that the hypothalamus will then signal the sympathetic nervous system which coordinates uh, a stress response usually. So obviously one thing is that they could signal the muscles to start working. So this could be talk about your skeletal muscles to run or to fight against that threat. And at the same time, it's also able to signal the adrenal medulla to release hormones. And specifically, there are two hormones here, adrenaline and noradrenaline. These two are peptide hormones, as I mentioned in the previous video, and they can coordinate most, uh, a lot or most of the responses uh, in the fight or flight system. So increasing heart rate, increasing blood glucose level by the adrenaline, and the noradrenaline can dilate the pupils, um, causing the arterioles to skins to constrict or to limit blood flow to non-essential organs. They could do all of those stuff, basically to prepare the body to run away from the threat or to fight against the threat. So the hypothalamus could also signal the endocrine systems directly. So the first step is that they could release a hormone called CRF or a chemical called CRF, uh, which can actually stimulate the pituitary gland. Now remember the pituitary gland is a master gland, so it's able to release hormones to affect other uh, glands as well. So it will then release a second hormone called ACTH. And that ACTH specifically signals or simulates the adrenal cortex, which is the outer part of the adrenal gland, whereas the adrenal medulla is the inner part. And the adrenal cortex uh, would be able to release about 30 steroid hormones. And without going into too much detail, uh, you can refer to my other video talking about adrenal cortex, but some of the steroid hormones could uh, regulate uh, the glucose metabolism uh, or protein metabolism. They could also suppress inflammatory responses as well and also to uh, maintain or control the salt concentration to change your blood pressure. So all of them can actually work together to, to have an effect on your blood pressure and your heart rate. Now obviously all of these hormones will then be released into the bloodstream and then they can travel to various different target organs to do various jobs. So to summarize, this is the coordinated response, seeing how the nervous and endocrine system could uh, coordinate a fight or flight response. So first of all, the nervous system would detect the threatening stimuli and they would signal the autonomic nervous system, which, are, which is responsible for uh, the automatic or un- subconscious actions. And they would then trigger the hypothalamus to do two different things. First of all, is to signal the sympathetic nervous system to signal the muscles and the adrenal, gland, uh, adrenal medulla to release uh, two peptide hormones. Then also the hypothalamus could release a chemical just called CRF to signal the pituitary gland, to release ACTH to signal the adrenal cortex, to release more steroid hormones. And all of these um, hormones that are released by the adrenal gland goes into the bloodstream to travel to target organs to do various jobs to help the body prepare for a fight or flight response. And in the next video, I'll be talking about the actions of adrenaline and saying specifically, how can adrenaline have an effect on cells to do various things? And this is the coordinated response.